How's it going, Scorpio? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot, guys. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your July 2021 Wealth and Abundance Tarot Card Reading. So I'm going to use the Good Tarot and I'm also going to use the Tarot of Dreams to do this reading for you. So this is going to be for Scorpio in Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And I hope you guys enjoy and, you know, maybe learn a little bit something about your ability to manifest maybe a manifestation block or <clears throat> some sort of tip or trick and we might even have somebody coming in be revealed to you that could help you on your path to wealth and abundance so who knows what the cards are going to say but i will channel messages from my team in spirit for you guys i just really hope that you enjoy the video um i always like to say this is for scorpio like your zodiac sign in sun moon rising and venus because if your sun sign is not resonating right away i like i go to my moon sign right away like i'm an aries sun and a cancer moon so if i'm watching a tarot card reader and i think the sun sign sucks and it's not resonating for me i'll just go check out my moon sign and that's usually got a little bit more something productive for me but anyway i like to keep the intro short as you guys know um ugh. okay all right okay there we go i'm gonna pull a card from the good tarot here for you guys so we have the queen of air so this is really powerful um I've seen you guys really struggling with your, uh, I want to say your independence to a certain degree. So I'm getting words like you guys could be retreating behind a facade because the facade is all that you have. That's really strange to come out. at the beginning of a wealth and abundance reading but like let's not overthink that let's just keep on pulling cards for you guys and and see what is up with that because i find that a little bit odd um <clears throat> i'm gonna pull some some good tarot this is fascinating so in the tarot of dreams there are cards that are called palace cards I don't think these in a, occur in any other deck. So this is like the ultimate attainment of wealth, abundance, serenity, zen, just everything. You're living in a palace, you know, it, it's just the ultimate attainment. So there could be some sort of moment right now where you have to hide behind a facade for somebody this is interesting what I'm getting here too. So if you're meeting somebody new, uh, you might not want to disclose exactly where you are on the financial ladder, okay? Um, hide, be hide, hide behind some facade. Keep your sort of palace secrets a secret. This is really interesting because, you know, not everybody has the best intention when it comes to... Um, your pocketbook, your bank balance. I'm going to pull another good tarot here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I can get the camera down anymore. No. Okay. No? Uh, anyway, I'm just going to keep rolling, you guys. Which way? Okay. So... So you've got the king of water here and this is you guys are being really beckoned to keep it together like really mind your emotional outpour man there could be somebody coming back in you've been really dealing with somebody that has been dragging you up and down the stairs emotionally emotionally okay so this is not cool that somebody is doing that to you guys all right um and they could come back they could come back just as you found your serenity you know you know, you're living in your palace of everything is cool. I just readjusted myself and now somebody's going to come back in and you're probably going to want to um, not tell them the truth because they're they see that you're doing good again. OK, so the king of water is just really asking you to get control of your emotions. You can see how what a shipwreck is going on in the background. 
and like how many of you came into a little bit of a a little bit of a like a financial bonus or something like that recently or you just got hired at a better job or maybe you won a little bit of money or something like that um <clears throat> somebody creepy could have figured that out and it might be your ex or an ex-friend and they're coming back in again oh yeah I, I see you got yourself straightened out i actually see some of you um have some sort of financial something matured and you could have come into maybe a trust fund or something like that or you know the interest paid off for something like something financial happened for you guys so you're going to have to really keep it on the down low because there's, always, oh my God, sorry. Uh, I guess if you didn't know I had a dog before, you do now. So anyway, there must have been something exciting happening, happening outside. Sorry about that. All right. So meanwhile, back to this perpetrator here that they just, they're waiting for you to come into something, some sort of an emotional balance or <clears throat> some sort of financial upswing they're a marauder you know like they're you're being look at this okay queen of swords she just is protecting herself she's streamlined she is you know she's a shield maiden she's like looking at this person coming in and she's like got this false front to herself and then you've got the king of water who is just really in charge of his emotions and he's not gonna let anybody sway him ever again okay and being able to retreat to this palace of air um, where all your thoughts belong to you and not somebody else. So this has got everything to do with what is happening with your money because somebody just so much shade, so much shade. Oh, I can't stand it when I get that kind of vibe. You know, people that are just, ugh, they just creep me out that they, they think it's okay to go and prey on other people. This could be the same person that you dealt with before that you just got like bo booted out of your life, but it could be somebody else, you know, but you should be able to recognize the signs here right now. This is going to be, you guys got to protect your assets. Like don't fall for it, you know, really keep your distance, really be observant, really use the energy of the preparedness of the queen of swords and the emotional strength of the king of water. Um, and which movie was that in you guys where Hannibal Lecter, he had created sort of that palace where everything was his own. Um, I don't know why that's sort of connecting. It's like, you're really going to have to go back into your own head and not let this person manipulate you. Okay. Cause it's like, they have a very powerful hold. They could remind you of somebody else um and really ignite a soft spot in you so this is not going to be cool okay so very very carefully around people coming in especially if they've already done you a once over and sort of broke your heart or ripped you off or all of the above okay so and then we have the two of pentacles so this is like you have to stay focused on your own goals here like don't let somebody come in and do this to you i cannot emphasize this enough you guys have just been through this. I think many of you have just gotten separated or you've been single for a long time or you've gotten divorced, okay? Um, and it was it's all over money matters, you know, because you had to foot somebody's bill before. And like, no, this is not going to happen again. Like, there's that song that it's like, if you've got to have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. <clears throat> and it, it can sound a little bit cold and all that stuff, right? But the whole principle is that, you know, you don't have to make a million dollars, but I don't want to pay your bills either, you know? So have some sort of prospect. Like, make sure that the person that you're interested in, either as a friend or as a um, romantic interest, you got to make sure that they can cover their own portion of the bills. Otherwise, you're going to end up footing them. And that is absolutely 100% thumbs down, not cool, okay? So you have this within you. You know, Scorpio, you guys are very, you know, water sign and you're very sensitive. So it might not be like um, the top of your nature to retreat behind the power of the, king, the Queen of Swords and like laser focus on them and say like 
nah, -uh. like you need a background check. I, I need to like really scour the internet and see who you are. So I can really, if you are coming into any of those sort of financial gains that I was talking about before, like I cannot emphasize to you guys enough to keep it on the low, low, low. All right, guys, I'm gonna bounce. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.